Developing an Ansible collection is super easy if using Visual Studio Code. I already set up my machine with Visual Studio Code, the Ansible extension is successfully installed and now I can see the Ansible logo in my sidebar. So let me click on it and I'm ready for the Ansible creator get started. This procedure first of all check that we have all the necessary component installed in our system in my case ansible is version 216.0 python version 3.11.6 and is missing one component the ansible creator so we can easily fix this stuff jump into the terminal as you can see I got the same result, Ansible 216 successfully installed, Ansible Lint, that is the Lint, is the tool that ensures that the best practice of Ansible are successfully uh, available in my system. Yeah, I need to add the dash dash version, this is version 6.22.1, and Molecule is an amazing tool for testing our Ansible role. Uh, what is still missing the ansible dash creator we can verify because when we type ansible creator dash dash version we got a command not found just for testing i did twice so ansible dash creator dash dash version still got a command not found okay we can install easy with using the python package manager pip install ansible dash creator if you like me have a python free you need to use a pip free install ansible creator so the python package manager is connecting to the website downloading the file and making it available in our system satisfying the dependency easy so now when we type ansible dash creators dash dash version we get the exact version of this tool is as you can see is 0.0 dot one so it's very initial version i would say but still very effective so this tool has a plenty of options from the command line so we can interact with it using ansible init ansible uh, dash creator init and then start the creation of our ansible collection as you can see this tool is uh, create the skeleton framework of an Ansible collection has a plenty of option for doing this. Yes, we can do with the, we can deal with this all by command line or by the comfortable of our Visual Studio Code. Now, if we refresh this view, Ansible Creator is successfully detected by the extension, and we are ready to create our content. The first things that we can do is actually initialize an Ansible collection starting typing our namespace and and uh, starting creating everything so let's click on it and uh, dig on this together as you can see this is the initial procedure that is the exact amount of information that the command line is asking but in a nicer way now let's start from the basic namespace in my case foo and collection name bar customize with whatever you need just hit the create button and as you can see in the log section we got the uh, exit code zero which means successful so the collection is actually created so if we open the collection we certified that this content is genuine and we bump directly to the galaxy.yml file it's more useful to get the file view perspective so now we can realize that all the content of an ansible collection is actually ready for us so it creates the skeleton the boil plate for our collection and now we can start creating our awesome Ansible resources. Happy hacking! Once we actually fulfill the Galaxy ML file, we can explore a little bit the all the three hierarchy that the tool created for us, and this simplify a lot the development. Now the sky is the limit. IP automation, and let's go together! Yay!